What is it that Esther wants to buy? Hello, Susie. Hello, Esther. I would like to buy a study abroad in Iceland. I want to go to the famous elf school in Reykjavik and get a certification as an elf spotter. Are you kidding me? No. The um, countries in the Scandinavian area are filled with the little people. We see them all around the world, the elves, leprechauns, pixies. And this is a certification school to actually connect with and find the little people. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> and I'm, I'm a professional paranormal investigator, so this is a business expense. I deal with ghosts, the spirit world, and angels, and the wee folk, the elves, are um, one branch of the entities that are with me all the time. So having this certification will be very practical and useful. All right, so I'm there with you all the way. Listen, I've had all kinds of things on the Can I Afford It segment, Honest to God, on the Susie Orman Show. But okay, this is kind of a first. You know, I'm into these things a little bit. You know, there's rumors out there that I'm psychic. Can you feel it? Do you feel like I am when you watch the Susie Orman Show? This entity enters me and I know things about people that they aren't telling me. However, show me the money because the money tells the story, girlfriend. Go for it. All right. You Geminis are good storytellers. Yes, by the way, we I are. <laughs> um, all right. I have an average of $3,500 a month income. I own my own business. Yes, yeah, so that is income that you generate. That's not yes. a fixed pension. If you did not work, it would not come in. That's correct. Got it. All right. I, generate. I own my own home outright. Fabulous. I have $60,000 in savings. Yeah. No debt. Yeah, great. And I have retirement assets in investment art and antiques. I don't have a formal retirement plan because I think all of that's going to disappear in the next few years. That's my own opinion, stocks and other investments. So I've invested in investment-grade antiques, furniture, and gems that I hope will appreciate in value. Mm. They're worth now conservatively maybe $20,000. All right, so $20,000. So in reality, if you were able to sell all your antiques, Antiques, you have approximately, you are 60 years of age, you have approximately $80,000 to your name. I'm, um, I'm 56 years oh, of age. Oh, it's 56. The, el the elves must have changed the pale. Oh, the right, there you work. go. I, the 60 came from the retirement account, and with your elves, we were arguing about that. Oh, I got it. All right. <laughs> so, 56 years of age, you still earn income, no fixed income there. If that income goes away, something happens, there it goes. By any chance, you have a picture of this school. Let me see what it kind of looks like, because it's, so do you go into this school in the hills? Is that what I'm seeing here? You like go into this little road and you go into this underground? It, the elves live, the hidden folk have certain sacred areas, and the school is held in one of them. Um, it's based in the city of Reykjavik, but I think that the, um, the, the location is where the, the students go to actually communicate with and study the hidden folk in kind of a field investigative setting. I got it. It's $4,000, correct? Yes, that'll be the airfare, the tuition. And everything. School, All right, so here, goes. Esther... If, if you were going to tell, say, use your skills here, what would Susie Orman say? What do you think I'm going to do? I think you're going to approve it because I have my um, emergency fund. For yes, but here's ahead. the thing. I'm denying you. You are? Okay. And the reason I'm denying you really with the utmost love and respect is this. If God forbid anything happens to you, you get ill, you get sick, there is no retirement plan in place for you, number one, really. $80,000 will give you maybe $100 a month, whatever it may be, after everything's going on. But the truth of the matter is, your emergency fund will go very, very quickly, and then what will we do? I need you to build that up more for you to go underground. So before I go on, I just have to ask, did I do the right thing? on this Halloween Eve. Did I do the right thing by denying her? <laughs> I guess I did. I have to tell you, that was my most favorite Can I Afford It ever, ever in the history of the Can I Afford It segment.